this video I am going to explain how to resolve the partial fractions when the denominator contains non-repeated linear factors. Say here the denominator is so simple that is non-repeated linear factors. How to resolve it? See here for 1 by x minus 8 into x minus 11. I am going to write as a by this is x minus 8 and this is b by this is x minus 11. And see here 1 by x minus 8 into x minus 11 is equal to if I take LCM here this is x minus 8 into x minus 11 now if I cross multiply so this is a times of so here there is x minus 8 and what is left over x minus 11 plus b times of there is x minus 11 what is left x minus 8 See here, now I am going to cancel x minus 8 on both sides and x minus 11 on both sides. And equation 1 is equal to A into, this is capital A times of x minus 11 plus B into, this is x minus 8. So, in order to make this one 0, A 0, there is minus 11. If I keep plus 11, then this will be 0. Put x is equal to 11 in the above equation so 1 is equal to a into in place of x if i keep 11 this is 11 minus 11 plus b times of this is 11 minus 8 now i can easily cancel this one therefore this value is equal to 1 is equal to this is b into so this value is nothing but 3 so b is equal to i got as 1 by 3 and after getting the b value see here i have to keep x is equal to 8 here so there is minus 8 if I keep plus 8 in equation 1 so put x is equal to 8 in the above equation in this equation so name it as equation 1 so 1 is equal to this is a into in place of x if I keep 8 here this is 8 minus 11 plus b into this is 8 minus 8 now if I cancel this plus and minus 8 minus 8 this is 0 and therefore 1 is equal to this is 8 into minus 3 therefore our a value is minus 1 by 3 after getting a and b values see this is b value and this is a value now see here i'm going to substitute in this equation in place of a i'm going to write minus 1 by 3 and in place of b i'm going to write plus 1 by 3 so here that is 1 by this is x minus 8 into x minus 11 is equal to minus 1 by 3 times of x minus 8 plus 1 by 3 times of this is x minus 11. So, this I am bringing 3 down. So, this is minus 1 by x minus 8 plus 1 by this is x minus 11. So, this is 1 by 3 times of 1 by x minus 11 minus this is x minus 8 and this is how we have to solve and this is simple way to solve. And see here, the next equation here is going to become, so the next equation is 1 by x minus 5 into x minus, uh, this one x minus 7. So this is x minus 7. Now how to resolve this one? So in order to resolve this one, I have to write as a by this is x minus 5 plus this is b by this is x minus 7. So 1 by x minus 5 into this is x minus 7 is equal to if i take lcm here this is x minus 5 into this is x minus 7 so if i cross multiply that is a into x minus 7 plus this is b into this is x minus 5 and now if i cancel x minus 5 on both sides and x minus 7 on both sides so 1 is equal to this is a into this is x minus 7 plus b into this is x minus 5 so in order to make a 0 so if i make this one 0 a 0 i'll be getting b value so there is minus 7 here so if i keep plus 7 so put x is equal to plus 7 here so 1 is equal to this is a into this is 7 minus 7 plus b times of this is 7 minus 5 so if i cancel this then the value of 1 is equal to this is b into 2 so the b value is half so the b value is half and the next one so i have to make this one zero now i put x is equal to 5 so if i keep x is equal to 5 1 is equal to this is a into this is 5 minus 7 plus b into this is 5 minus 5 
so if i make this one zero so one is equal to this is a into this is minus two so a is equal to this is minus half so after getting a and b values now we have to substitute in the given equation that is 1 by this is x minus 5 into x minus 7 so in place of a i am writing minus half by x minus 5 and in place of b i am writing as plus half that is x minus 7 so if i bring this half down to the denominator this is minus 1 times of 1 by x minus 5 plus 1 by this is x minus 7 so this is half times of this is 1 by x minus 7 minus 1 by x minus 5 and this is how we have to solve and this is the process for solving and the next easiest question here is 1 by x plus 2 into x plus 3 so again we can write as a by this is x plus 2 <coughs> plus this is b by this is x plus 3 so 1 by x plus 2 into this is x plus 3 is equal to so this is x plus 2 into this is x plus 3 that is a by i have to make a cross multiplication that is x plus 3 plus b by this is x plus 2 now i am going to cancel x plus 2 on both sides and x plus 3 on both sides so 1 is equal to this is a into x plus 3 plus this is b into this is x plus 2. So in order to make a 0, so there is plus 3 here. Now I have to put x is equal to minus 3. So in equation 1, if I keep x is equal to minus 3, that is a into this is minus 3 plus 3 plus b into minus 3 plus 2. So, if I cancel this one, so b value will be 1 is equal to, this is b into minus 1. Therefore, b is equal to minus 1. The value here of b is minus 1. So, in order to make b 0, if I make b 0, I will be getting a value. So, there is plus 2 here. That's why I have to keep x is equal to minus 2. So, if I keep minus 2 in equation 1, so a times of minus 2 plus 3 here. plus this is b times of this is minus 2 plus 2 so if i cancel this minus 2 and plus 2 see what remains 1 is equal to a into 3 minus 2 is 1 i got the value of a as 1 now i have to substitute in the above equation so in place of a i have to give 1 and in place of b i have to give minus 1 so that's what i'm doing here so this is 1 by this is x plus 2 into this is x plus 3 is equal to a by x plus 2 plus this is b by this is x plus 3 so which is equal to 1 by x plus 2 minus 1 by x plus 3 and this is how we have to solve it's so simple and i'll be posting many more videos related to these series and have a look at those please practice differently it will be a great help for your preparation thank you so much